morning, everyone. I'm just going to give this a minute to switch over on the other side. Okay. I am super excited for our stream today. It is actually just going to be me and maybe one other special guest, but it is a special guest that you know and love. And maybe this special guest also um, is in our chat right now, but you um, don't see them yet. I wonder if you can guess who it's going to be. Once you get on, can you please go ahead and say hi in the chat so I know you are here. Hey Andy, good morning. Oh yes, we've got two guesses so far. Hey Kendall. Hey Axel, good morning. Hi Gloria. Hello, Ashley. Good morning, Stephanie. Hey, Fred. Fredster, Freddy with the vlogs fam. Hey, AB. Okay. So today I promised that we would talk a little bit more about the Titanic because technically today is the day that the Titanic sunk. I believe it sunk at, I think it was 2.24 in the morning. So it hit the iceberg at 11 o'clock yesterday night, back in 1912, not now. And then today, a technically in the middle of the night on April 15th is when it sunk down to the um, bottom of the ocean floor. Also, I was so inspired by Miss Hoffman's fun earrings that she always wears that I decided to put on some fun earrings today. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm super excited. For the rest of this week, we've got special guests on some channels, I mean, some streams. So you will have to tune into both streams to find out who and when. It's going to be awesome, though. Um, how awesome was yesterday's stream? Okay, back to my mind's everywhere today, guys. Sorry, I'm off topic. I'm like the squirrels outside when they're seeing a new tree or something like that. So I apologize. Okay, so back to Titanic. So your task yesterday, I said, do if you had more questions about the Titanic, go ahead and think of at least two questions that you wanted to talk about. And then I wanted to share my screen with you because um, I went ahead and I went, I think it's this one. Hang on. This stream, yes. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you. It's a lot of tabs. I apologize. Um, hopefully, that is the correct tab. Um, but I wanted to share that if you go on Myon and you search in Titanic, there are 21 books that have all about the Titanic. So for your, um, for your independent reading this week, if you wanted to look on my on, this would be an awesome book to read too, because this one would have some pretty cool nonfiction features in it. I'm just going to start the book so you can see it. So these are actual pictures from the Titanic, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, hey, Marlene. I'm so glad you're here. Um, AB, that's a great question. Was there important were there important people on the titanic so um that would be an awesome question to research i do know i'm going to stop sharing my screen now i do know that um they did make a movie about the titanic and the stars were kate winslet and leonardo dicaprio and that is actually part of our random fact of the day. Well, yes, the captain obviously would be important in this. But I wonder if the captain could have had a little bit more, uh, been a little more responsible with his driving and locating these icebergs. So I think what happened from what I've researched about is they didn't think the iceberg was as deep as the iceberg was. So I think that's why. I don't know. 
So our fun fact of the day is that it cost $200 million, $200 million to make the Titanic movie. So um, it's an old movie. It's, it is rated PG-13. So I would not suggest you going and asking your parents to watch it. So do not watch it. Um, it's a good movie. I it was made in like the 90s. In fact, Miss Perone went to watch it in the movie theater when it came out. Miss Hoffman, I don't think, did because I don't think Miss Hoffman was even alive then because Miss Perone is an old lady and Miss Hoffman is a young little baby compared to Miss Perone. So there is that. Uh, okay, so that is our On This Day in History. It's a continuation from yesterday. So, um, okay, so Marlene, yes. I mean, I was under the age of 13 when it came out, so I did have to go to the movie theater with my dad, and I went with my best friend at the time named Paige. Her name was Paige. So me and Paige went to the movie theater with my dad, and um, he sat, like, way far away from us. But we also went to like the dollar movie theater because at that time you there was two different movie theaters. So the first movie theater was like all the movies that came out right then, like all like the brand new movies. But those movies cost like six or seven, maybe even eight dollars. Right. So then if you waited like a month or two, they would eventually go to the dollar movie theater and literally any movie that you wanted to see only cost like a dollar. So that meant you could spend more money on popcorn and snacks, which I did obviously because movie theater popcorn is the best popcorn in the whole wide world. Case closed. All right. So now let's go ahead to today's lesson. So um, I know it was, it was so cheap, but even now, like thinking about it, the, to the price to see a movie then was like six or $7. But now to go see a movie, it's like, ten dollars or more even so the price to go see a movie has definitely gone up all right so let's go on to today's lesson so this week in your packet you are charged with using details to support inferences so what i noticed yesterday was some feedback that i got with a couple of students was we actually forgot about how to make inferences and now my inference is that it was the chart, the graphic organizer that's presented to you within the iReady stuff. So um, I'm gonna break it down just a little bit. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Um, so that way you can see, and I can still see you right here. Check it out guys. This is just a little, um, this is a selfish thing, not related to the topic. But look, look at what I made, our background. It's our classroom. So Ms. Hoffman helped me set that up today because I um, was confused about how to do it. So knowing that Ms. Hoffman is a technology wizard, she helped me out with this. Isn't that so cool? So now it's like we're, this is like the big board. Anyways, um, yeah. An inference is kind of like a guess, but it's more of a guess with research to back it. So in your packet, um, you had this text. It looks like Zhang He, but if we look deeper into the text right here, I'm actually going to mark on this. Um, it's pronounced Zheng He. Okay, it's pronounced Jung Ha. I'm probably going to zoom in just a little bit for you. So it's going to get real big in just a second. Um, let me look at that. A backed up guess. Yeah, it's like a guess, but with evidence to back it up. Yep. Okay. So um, in this text, Jung, Jung Ha, I keep saying it. I don't want to be um, disrespectful to someone else's name because you know how I am about that with myself. Um but yeah, so I apologize in advance if I'm saying this character's name wrong. So this character, it's actually a biography. So remember that when we read biographies, we often, or a way to trick our brains into understanding them is to 
think about the the person that is being written about in a biography as a character. So Zheng He is actually a character within this story. When we are talking about um, nonfiction texts and biographies, sometimes our brains get confused with figuring out the structure and things like that. So if we relate it to something that's fictional and we relate it to um, thinking about him as characters, we are uh, able to process and understand the story just a little bit better. Okay, so let's get down to business. I know Miss Hoffman always says that in hers. And when she does that, it always makes me think of the movie Mulan when they sing, um, let's get down to business to defeat the, the, the Huns. I don't know. I wasn't very good. Sorry. That's for you, Miss Hoffman. I hope you like that singing. Shout out to Miss Hoffman. You know, um, funny you should mention that it's your favorite Disney movie. Miss Ramsing also loves the movie Mulan. She does. Okay. So now I'm going to go on to this chart. The question up here is asking you, we're going to write on it again, what inference can you make about how Zheng He affected the world's knowledge of China? So when I'm looking at this chart right here, this is what can be confusing. This part about experience, okay? So we know that evidence is also known as TC or text clues, clues from the text. Plus, what you already know. So what do you know about whatever this topic is? This is the background knowledge, or BK. I apologize. It's very difficult to write on a screen. And then finally, for your last part, that is what helps you to come up with an inference. Now, pay close attention to what this little character from iReady is saying. He's saying, for the what I know column, think about the roles leaders, diplomats, and traders play in the, in the world. So let's think about some of our leaders. Like right now, we have Mayor Jane Castor. She is the mayor of Tampa. What do you know about her role? Well, her role is to lead people. Think about um, Miss Brown. What is her role? She is the leader of our school. So her role is to make sure kids are safe. So in this case, was Zheng, he, Zheng He's role to keep it, the people of China safe? Was it, um, think about it and things like that. So when you're seeing what I know or experience, you want to think about that as your background knowledge. So let's go through. I'm going to actually, I'm going to give you some answers. So if you've already done this, check your work. If you haven't already done this, clue in because I'm giving you some answers together, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have, I'm going to try my hardest to do this. I'm working on the PowerPoint. Let me just make a little text box here. I'm going to actually write on the chart. Oops, there we go. Click to add text. I need to take it off of draw. Oh boy, Miss Perone, what are you doing here? I'm a hot mess. I need to be more up and up like Miss Hoffman. She knows how to do stuff quickly. Okay, so for here, what is the text evidence that can help us to make an inference about how Zheng He affected the world's knowledge of China? So we know that, I'm gonna make sure I spell this right, Zheng He, he commanded the quote. This is directly from the text. Let me just make sure that this is going into the part. The mightiest, mightiest fleet the world ever ever saw. Something else about Zheng He is, let me just scroll down and make sure I put a little mark here so you know that that's different, a little bullet mark. And then finally, he was, quote, not, oops, not just a soldier. Soldier, hold on. 
and sailor, but also a diplomat. So a diplomat is, just in case you guys are confused about what a diplomat is, I can't see what you're typing in the comments right now because I'm writing on the screen, but a diplomat is somebody who is kind of like a leader or an ambassador. So for example, we could say Freddie, Gloria, um, Janelle, Jordan. Why am I? Oh, wait. And Jessica, sorry. Those are all ambassadors or diplomats for their houses. They are all the leaders of their house, but they're also diplomats of our school. Okay, so now when it's coming to the background knowledge or the what you know portion of this, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the, oops, I don't want to click that. I want to insert a new text box right here. This is the part where you're putting in what you know about leadership. So let me go ahead and make my text a different color. Give me just a second, guys. I'm working with a smaller screen. Okay, there we go. And just a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Okay, so from what you know, a person who does everything that the text describes must have some effect on the world. Can you see this on your screen? Let me check a little bit. Okay, and you can see my awful typos. Okay, and then finally, my last little part right here about the diplomats. So diplomats, diplomats are people who visit other places and talk with other people. So if we think about when we've got visitors coming to our campus, who do they always call on to go and share the things that we do at our school? Well, they call the house presidents. So that is um, that is similar to what you might see. Well, you wouldn't see it really in that. So now let's talk about an inference. So now that I have some evidence from the text and I have some experience, now let's talk about what I would put as my inference. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna insert a text box over here. Now guys, I will take a picture of this, but I have to delete this off of this slide because I share these slides with other fifth grade classes. So if Ms. Ramsing shares this with her class, if Ms. O shares this with her class, or if Mr. Gibson shares this with the, his class, I don't want them to have the answers because I don't know what Ms. Ramsing, maybe Ms. Ramsing has something different that she wants to do or Ms. O or someone else. So I will screenshot my thing and I will post this in our recap. So if you are stuck, you can go back and refer to it, okay? All right, so now let's get to the last part and that would be my inference. So remember an inference, Freddie told us, he, well, he said it's kind of like a guess. And I agreed with him. It is kind of like a guess, but uh, it is a guess that is backed up with research. In this case, the research would be our evidence. So for us, I would put on here the world, no, the world's knowledge of China. Oops. China probably increased because of Zheng because travels. Okay, so because we know that he commanded this, this fleet and we know that he traveled to talk to other people by being a diplomat, we, and because in our background knowledge, we know that diplomats are people that go other places or talk to visitors. 
we can infer that the world probably knows more about China, or at the time, the world probably knew about China because of Zhang, Ho, Zhang He's travels. Ariana A. Um, some of those classes, each teacher is doing something different. So some of uh, each teacher on each grade is doing something different. So some of them may have lives. Um, <laughs> it sounds funny when you say they have lives. They do have a life. Um, but some of them may be doing a live stream and some of them might just be recording themselves teaching and then sharing it with their students. So there's that. Okay, so let me go ahead and save this for now and um, I will come back to it after. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Go ahead and stop sharing. So I will put this, I will take a picture of this, a snipping tool picture. And as soon as this stream is done, I will upload it to Clever and Edsby so you have it. It'll probably be actually quicker if you get on Edsby because I can just put that right in the um, thing, in the, uh, the what is that called the stream the timeline whatever the thing is like um can't think of the word okay so okay i'm going to go ahead and click off and stop sharing my screen all right so i'm going to go ahead and bring in a special guest this special guest is someone that you know and I hope that you love. Dun 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 dun. It is Ms. Hoffman. Hey. I'm so glad that we are on this journey together, Ms. Hoffman. I am so grateful. You talked about your funky earrings. So like halfway through, I had to like sneak downstairs and I you pulled out some funky earrings that I haven't worn ever. So Oh, those are fun. Those look like discs, but they also look like spirals. Yes. Yeah, so, so if you did guess Miss Hoffman. Oh my gosh, Miss Flack, we were just gonna talk about you. This is perfect timing. It is. So um there she is. Okay, so guys, Miss Flack has her own YouTube channel, and I know Miss Hoffman has been sharing videos of Ozzy, her hedgehog, and of Joey, her parrot. I'm not a parrot, sorry, a macaw. So today's actual vir more virtual spirit week is Workout Wednesday. So something that we wanted to do was show you how to get to Miss Flax channel. So it's pretty easy, guys. You just, wow, um, Christian, that's a lot of um, extra stuff on there. So all you have to do is go and search Miss Flack's name. There it is. But just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. I think I'm doing this right. Miss Hoffman, an application window. I'm gonna do the other YouTube. So mm -hmm. we'll do this. Okay, so here's your actual chat, guys. Hey, I'm so glad that Ramon and Amber could pop in today. Um, Ramon, I have not heard that, so I'm just going to go with, um, oh, look, here you go. Here's a whole bunch of my search lyrics. So this is funny. My niece was singing this song to my parents, um, you know, do, 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 do. so she, she thinks um, S-H-U-T-U-P is a bad word. So um, my mom was trying to figure out what is this song, so I had to send it to my mom. Okay, so if you just type in Julie Flack and click on this picture of Miss Flack literally being a beast because she is incredible, mm -hmm. you see all of her exercise challenges. So she's got um, tons of awesome videos on here, lots of exercise challenges. She's working out at home. And also, look at this, guys. This is so cool. So all of for all of you basketball enthusiasts, I want can you guys hear it? Barely. Okay. So when you go on the actual video, you'll be able to hear it. You'll be able to hear it. Um, I'm going to just mute it for right now. But check it out. She's showing you some really cool moves on dribbling basket, the basketball. And I don't know if you know this, but Miss Black 
Miss Flack is an incredible basketball player. She doesn't like to brag about herself, so I always brag for her. She is an incredible basketball player. Mm -hmm. Ramon, until I hear it from Miss uh, Brown about school, we're just going to um, go on with knowing right now that we're going right now the closest date we have is May the 1st. So um, I'm just going to let that be and we will find out. So if you need to get to Miss Flack's channel, you just type her name in and you will get right to her channel. And you will see all of her challenges. So that's pretty cool. And remember, we're not just always concerned about what we put into your brain, meaning like, like teaching you stuff. Being a human, it it means, and being a teacher, it doesn't mean that we're like here to shove information. You also need to make sure you're taking care of yourself mentally and physically during this quarantine, during this self isolation. Okay. Yeah, and Miss Flack, that's so awesome. She so she says she tries to post a challenge each day to check them out, guys. Even like I do them, like I go on and I do her challenges. They're not long. They're only um <clears throat> like maybe two minutes long, three minutes at the most, and you can do them over and over again. They're just quick little circuits to just get your mind and your body right. So check it out. I'm trying to get my. Miss Flack Arms, also known as Miss Izzo Arms, because Miss Izzo has some pretty strong. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm not there yet. Hey. I, Moises, I think she should be in the NBA 100%. Ugly. Oh, okay. thank, thank you, Miss Flack. Flack. You're, you're the inspiration for these muscles. You really are. I know. I'm, I'm very <laughs> proud of myself, Miss Prong. I've been working on my push ups, and I can. Wow. I I've been for a walk I usually walk a mile each day so I go in between the like in between your live and my live if I like on my lunch break I go um and I walk a mile and then I come back and I'm ready to go or sometimes after the whole day is done I go and I walk a mile um and then I'll do some Miss Black challenges and sometimes I think from lifting Stella because she's Probably like 20 pounds. Lifting Stella, she's a she is um she's pretty heavy. So you know. Well, Chris and I have been working out and sometimes we use Olaf, the fat cat, as like a free weight. Yeah, that's so funny. So Martine, it's funny that you mentioned that you don't like going outside because of bugs. I literally wait, let me do it like the um in zoom. Um, I literally have to spray myself with bug spray before I walk outside. Um, also, last, before I go into some kindness challenges, great minds think alike, guys. You know how much we want to be sponsored. So, Paper Made, if you're out there, Ink Joy, um, Ink Joy and Flare, Paper Made, we want you to sponsor us. I'm going to do my um, Wolverine hands. Sponsor us, please. Pay. Oh. Okay. Um, I actually have something really cool to share with everyone. Today's hero of the day is somebody that we know um, and love. It is Mr. Reyes's wife. Her name is Joy Reyes. And she, I'm looking at my text message. And she is the director of ancillary services, which means she does all of the radiology, like all of radiology is like when you go to get x-rays and stuff or MRIs and stuff like that. She um, is in charge of all of that, plus a bunch of other departments. So here's a picture of her. There she is at work. You can see her. There's Mrs. Reyes. Here she is also at work giving us a thumbs up. I think this was probably pre, but I don't know. She could be just taking a break. Mm -hmm. she, yep, that's her. There she is. So we want to shout her out because at this time we want to give thanks to our healthcare professionals, our doctors, our nurses, our janitors at the hospitals, our cafeteria workers at the hospitals. Um, the people that park cars at hospitals, uh, ambulance drivers, police officers, firefighters, um, 
Next week, we are going to have um, some fun people that are actually working at school, at our school, that are going to come on our channel. So we can give a special shout out to those people who are making our food. So speaking of that, real quick, Miss Snowgrove wanted me to remind you that today starts the new grab and go. So if you go today to Mort and get your food, you will get a week's worth of food. So you will get food for um, today, tomorrow, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Today is Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Mon Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I believe. And Tuesday. Yep. So you'll get a week's worth of food. Um, if you go on the Mort Parent Resource Center, Facebook, you'll see they have posted a menu of what you would be getting. So if you are going to go and you're going to walk there, make sure you bring a backpack or some a bag to carry it with because the bag of food, because there's so much of it, it will be pretty heavy. So that you're going to get like a lot of um, cartons of milk. You'll get breakfast and lunch for, I think it's five days worth. I think it's five. Yep. I think it's five days worth of food. So that's pretty awesome. So they're trying to do that to um, protect people like Miss Brown and Miss Snellgrove and our custodians and lunch workers that are out there um, getting, that are passing out the food to everyone. So with social distancing happening, we want to make sure they're just as protected as we are at home in our houses. Um, finally, speaking of meals, you can use some of those leftovers. So if you have leftover cereal or milk to help make a meal for our family member. So our kindness challenge today is to make a meal for a family member. So in the beginning of the stream, we had Miss Bellis and her uh, and her cute little boy, Everett, come on and they helped us. The, the task was to help make a meal. Well, this time you are going to be able to make that meal. So it could be easy as pouring a bowl of cereal for your sibling. Um, it could be as easy as getting them a drink from the refrigerator, um, something like that. Just try to help out around the house, especially with those younger siblings. Okay, I can't think of anything else. Um, just a quick recap of today is Workout Wednesday. Um, we talked about the sinking of the Titanic. I've got to get my hands right. The sinking of the Titanic on this day in history. It cost over $200 million to make the movie Titanic, which is more than the um, build it costs to actually build the ship. So that's pretty crazy. Um, today's topic, we talked about making inferences and I shared my screen with you. Let me do it one more time to the, um, I shared this screen with you to the answers. So I will take a picture of this and upload it to Edsby as soon as the stream is done and um so yeah so there if you want to see if you are just tuning in please go back and view this video so you can see the teaching points of this remember when we make inferences we are they are research based research in this case would be clues from the text and i know when miss hoffman does her science today she's going to be talking about um inferences there okay i think that is it. Yep. As always, five houses, one heartbeat. Please make sure you tune in tomorrow. We will have some special guests on. We have one for the rest of this week. So please make sure you tune in. Finally, I have a I have an assistant over here, my intern, um, who I think wants to participate today. <gasps> Oh. Here she is. Do you know why she wants to participate, everyone? Because I have my breakfast right here. Watch. There it is. Keep going. Keep going. There, pull forth. Yep. Apples and peanut butter. So if I were to, oh, oh the screen now. If I were to, um, you know, just move. Watch this. So if I move this up. Here goes Stella's head. Here goes Stella. There goes Stella. There goes Stella. <laughs> Do you want her to look at the camera? Oh, she's licking her chops. There she goes. <laughs> Chunker. Oh, yeah. We, where's Olaf, Miss Hoffman? Uh, 20 bucks. He's downstairs in the sun. Let me go oh, get him. 
She's licking my hand because she doesn't want me to hold her paws. But if I let her paws go, she's going to go right for the, yep, she's going for my apples. My apples are on top of my computer right now. Do, do, do. I, you want to, I'll give her a little piece of it, though. I'm trying to get her to bark, but she won't bark for you. She barked for Miss Hoffman yesterday. <laughs> She's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. Okay. So while Miss Hoffman's getting Olaf, Stella's going to, oh, I told Gloria I would try to get Stella to do the Renegade, um, but I don't really remember it much. So Jordy and um, Gloria, this is for you. Do, do, wait. Renegade. Uh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. Do, 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 do. She's dancing. I know, Ramon, funny. Did you see this, Ms. Hoffman? Let me just go ahead and put this up. Yes. I love how, yes, I always talk about you. Yes, I do have apples near my computer because I bought my computer. It's not a free computer, so it's it would be my own fault if I did that. Okay, so we are signing off with our cute little pets, our little chunksies over here. Ugh. So we are giving you all air hugs and air high fives, air high five. Oh, Stella does not like that. Air hugs and high fives. And we are saying ciao for now. Ciao. I bet you know where my apples are now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stella's going to take us out with the renegade. Wait, renegade. Woo. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. We'll see you later.